Hey there, fellow Tarda fans. I'm back with my second vlog to show you some developments and answer a couple of questions. If you haven't seen my previous video, please follow the link in the description below, otherwise you can't follow this one. So the situation is at hand. I have finally named them. I call them Tardigrades. <laughs> because they are great in every sense of the word. They are much bigger than usual of course, but what I found out will blow your mind. As you've seen they make structures. Last time I didn't know how or why, but I found out. And holy shit, it is amazing. I'll try to explain in simple terms because it's quite difficult to understand. Here I go. What the TARDIS did was introduce a bacteria to the moss. This causes vertical gene transfer, what means the injection of DNA into another organism. This in turn causes a genetic change. Because of this the moss grows into calluses, which causes immediate rapid growth from one point outward. With me so far? These calluses die on the inside due to lack of oxygen. And only the outside layer of cells, drawing resources from the ground up, grow outward. Now the tardigrades eat the outside of these calluses in a circular motion and cutting off the resource flow from the bottom up. This stops the growth process of the calluses. What remains is a skeletal dome shape without any nutritious value. As you can see here, they move around to grow more food, leaving the structures behind them. So do you know what that means? My tardigrades have developed a method of agriculture, actual agriculture. They move the bacteria around using it as a tool to grow more food. How great is this? But it isn't all. Oh no. They seem to have a form of communication. Without it they wouldn't be able to farm food. And most of all they couldn't be social animals. But for the life of me I can't figure out what it is. They seem to be telling each other where to move the bacteria next, where to eat and who gets what. Normally you think comparing them to insects this would be done through pheromones. And I'm sure they produce those like a lot of other organisms. But their behavior seems too complex for them to follow a simple scent trail. If this would be the case, they'd just walk to the next food source in line. No, they wait for their turn. Time to react to some of your questions and statements from the previous video. Statement. What is the point of manipulating tardigrades? Science really is going too far. Why, why does there have to be a point? Um, I just wanted to see if I would be able to create a better species of tardigrade. These fellows live a peaceful life. They don't harm anything or anyone. Question. You made them smarter. Could they become better than us? Well, in, in, in many ways they, they are better than us. They, they can survive almost everything. Heck, heck, they, they survived all major extinction events in the past 300 million years, but I, I, I wouldn't call them better than us. They, they are absolutely not as intelligent as we are. Question, what are they doing? Have you named them? Um, agriculture, of course. But I just told you that you couldn't have known after seeing the previous video. And I wasn't sure back then either. Uh, as for the names, no, no, they don't have uh, individual names, but, but, but they might get, yeah. Question, can I buy them? <laughs> no, no, of course not. <laughs> my, my tardigrades aren't pets. <laughs> if you might have noticed, uh, this video looks a lot better than my previous one. I uh, bought a better camera and, uh, you know, to record my vlog. And I learned a bit of editing. Um, and I've also ordered this awesome t-shirt. If you would like to have one, send me a message and I'll make sure that you get one. See you next time, Tardy fans. Bye.